Good morning, good morning, my loves. Good morning. What awesome to enjoy our day together today, Miss Christina Marty. <laughs> Let's give her a rub and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That feels good. That's good stuff. That's good stuff, right, Christina? Oh. Well, today, my loves, we are going to talk all about the amazing teachers we have in our lives. Our parents, our teachers from school, anyone who has given the opportunity of their time to us to help us learn and build a better world for tomorrow together. So we're going to learn about all our wonderful teachers and we're going to learn through a story today, a letter to my teacher that is so heartfelt that just makes Miss Mel, oh my goodness, makes my heart overjoyous. And I just wanted to share this with you and share it as a message to all our wonderful teachers and parents out there who are doing an amazing job just like you, my loves, and keeping it going. And I want you to remember wherever your classroom is, because a classroom can be outside, a classroom can be in our virtual world, anywhere you get an opportunity to learn from some other people who are absolutely amazing and teaching amazing things to you. When you enter this classroom, Miss Mel found a little, little poem together. You are scientists, remember my loves, you are scientists, you are authors, you are important, you are leaders, you are thinkers, you are explorers, you are creators. You are readers, you are a friend, and most importantly of all, my loves, always remember, right, Miss Christina? You are loved. And you are the reason we teachers are here, my loves. Every day, each and every day, and the passion we share with you, you are the reason we are here, to build our better world together. So, my loves, today, Miss Mel promised you a story, as every Tuesday, a what? We are going to get together and read a letter to my teacher. And this is a story by Deborah Hopkinson. And it's pictures by Nancy Carpenter. So it's written by Miss Deborah Hopkinson. And it's the illustrated, the pictures in the storybook are by Nancy Carpenter. So thank you, Miss Deborah, and thank you, Miss Nancy. These are it's such a beautiful story. And thank you for oh sh uh, sharing this, getting an opportunity to share this today. A letter to my teacher. Oh, Miss, I almost forgot. If this is a wonderful gift for our teachers, so if you're looking to send something to a teacher, a wonderful little inspirational piece of beauty. This has a little section in the front that says a gift for. So you get to write, just like the little girl in the story is writing a letter to her teacher today, you get to write this and send this to your teacher, which is amazing. A letter to my teacher. Dear teacher, whenever I had something to tell you, I tugged on your shirt and whispered in your ear. This time, I'm writing you a letter. I hope you remember me because I was the one who marched to school that first day. I wore a bright yellow raincoat and a dark stormy frown because for me, school meant sitting still and listening. Two things I wasn't very good at. I stood there, ornery and dripping, just sure I'd get into trouble, but instead you greeted me with a smile. You grinned at me. Good morning, my dear, look at you. Standing there like Mary Kingsley just back canoeing from the Ogove River. Oh, who? I said, where? Mary Kingsley, the fearless explorer, you explained. Always something new to teach that's webs you're wonderful. Someday we'll read about her in crocodiles. Now get them up, crocodiles, I said. After taking attendance, you made a big announcement. Welcome, kiddos. This year we'll be planting the first ever second graders garden. It will be our great experiment. Yay! We get to dig in the mud. I shall. <laughs> Miss always tells you that. Miss always reminds you that. Who loves to dig in the mud? Let's get some dirt on. <laughs> what? Oh, true, but first we'll read about your plants, you said. So we're going to learn about plants today, just like you and Miss Mel, and our parents and wonderful teachers. Is that not fun? We'll use math to measure our plot, because we have to plant a garden. And reading, math, writing, I said. I was better at running and jumping, I said. Not so much reading, math, and writing. 
Wow, so we went on an exploration together as a class. The next week, we visited the creek behind the school to learn about plants and water and the importance that they play in our world. And when you weren't watching, I started to hop up the rocks right in the middle. I got stuck. Oh, no, I said, look at me. I'm Mary, what's her name? What's her face? I don't know. I hollered, trying to sound brave. Watch out for crocodile. <gasps> I said, oh, no, you called back. Then you rushed to rescue me. On the way back, you held my hand and never told anyone how much I was shaking. At fall, I tried hard to sit still. Right before Thanksgiving vacation, you asked, who wanted to take the Mouse Brothers home? Me, pick me, I shouted. <gasps> what? She got to take her class pet home to watch and be responsible for. But while I was busy eating turkey, uh-oh, my cat Lucy got into trouble with the mite. Oh, no. I bought a replacement, except I just couldn't tell you about it. I'm sorry. One day when we were cleaning their cage, you called me over to your desk and told me that we might have to change the brothers' names to Ma and Pa Mouse. And you knew the whole time, I said. You knew, laughing, you said, my gift as well gets to be used. T teachers see everything, my loves. But we understand. <gasps> when a winter came, the reading corner became our secret garden of stories. <gasps> what? That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. On Friday afternoons, we all ended up in a heap to listen, just like our new litter of mice. That's a wonderful thing. And Miss Mel envisions all of you sitting around or sitting when you can we, together as a family and listening to our stories together to be able to see each other. I loved it when you read to us and always begged for more because you did the voices and you were so much fun. But I hated being called out to read aloud. I kept tripping over words. And once right before my turn, I yelled, raise your hand if you want to go home. <gasps> Another time, I clutched my throat and croaked. Uh-oh. I lost my voice. Nothing fooled you, though, teacher. You called me to your desk and asked, when we make our garden, do you think the seeds will grow right away? No, I said. Everyone knows they need time and sun and water. Remember my love? Sun, water, and loads of love. Well, learning to read takes time too, you said. Now, I think you have a cat. I nodded. Lucy, the one who likes mine. I'd like you to read to Lucy every single day you suggested. Something you love to read. It might keep her out of trouble. I giggled. Maybe I'll read her Puss in Boots. Oh, such a great story. I practiced hard and you gave me extra help too, teacher. One day you brought me a very special book. I met a real author and they autographed it for me just for you you said wow i looked at the cover and sounded out the words and and wow it's about her that explorer mary kingsley you smile next week you can share it with the class my loves teachers always try to remember my loves all your favorite books all the things you love to read and we always make sure to remember because we love you so much in march we explored our town we went out on a field trip to an old house. It was full of history and many secret stairways. When I slipped away to look for hidden treasure in the root cellar, you and the whole class had to trudge down the odd steps to find me. I think even you lost your patience that time. And I'm so sorry. Exasperating was the word you used. I remember because that last night my mom helped me look it up in the dictionary. I'm so sorry, but... The day you brought in seeds for us to choose, I tugged on your shirt. Can we plant this kind? The packet says early spring. We get a bright red radishes in just a few weeks. Good reading, you said, and great idea, you said. Thanks to the math games we played, measuring our garden patch was super easy. At last, we turned over the soil. We're ready to plant. I was radish crew chief, you said and read out the instructions all by myself. And all spring we watched and watered and kept our garden journals. 
I remember the day we did the garden journals. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. I hope we kept up with it. It was so much fun. On the Friday before summer vacation, we wrote our invitations to every class to come and enjoy the salad we've grown ourselves. Splendid spinach, said the principal. It's because of the worms, I explained. Remember that day we had the farm come and we had our worms? Oh my goodness, let us know, know if you touched our worms. And if you didn't, that was okay. Our farmers did, we did a wonderful job. Oh my goodness, the worms were so cool. I didn't know how to say thank you, so on the last day I gave you a present, a memory quilt. I measured squares on paper and made the story of a year each in one. The reading corner, worms in our compost, the magnificent mouse family, and best of all, the picture of you and me, teacher. You and me, lots of pictures together, and held it up for everyone to see. Thank you, now I'll never forget you all, said the teacher, and the year of the second grade garden. Me neither, I promised, and I never, ever have. Can Miss Mel give you a hint? This is a little girl as a grown-up. Let's see what she's saying. She's writing a letter. For a long time now, I've been waiting to write to tell you that even though I didn't always listen, and that's okay, and I know I was exasperating at times, I know, Second grade really was the best year ever because you made everything so extra special. So I guess you won't be too surprised to hear that I still like to stomp through the woods. <laughs> I still like to dig in the garden and grow through the mud and even read aloud at times to my cat. And most of all, I want to tell you that I'm about to start my very first job. And tomorrow morning when I go to work, I'll think about everything you helped me explore and try my very best, teacher, to be like you. Oh, thank you for being my teacher. Love your student. Oh, my goodness, my loves, look at her. She became a teacher when she grew up. Oh my goodness, because she was so inspired. Thank you again to all our amazing, wonderful, beautiful, inside and out teachers and parents. Thank you so much for helping us kiddos. We love and care for you oh so much. And we run marathon after marathon for all of you because together we build a better world, my loves. And you are at the start of that. Love you all. And before we enter to in today's session, our wonderful story time classroom, Miss Nell is going to give you a link. And up in our link page today, we have a wonderful link for you to be able to show different ways. You, in this link, it gives you different crafts to do for your teachers and wonderful ways to explore how you can thank them virtually. So Miss Nell did this, and you can do it whatever color your hand. This is Miss Nell's handprint. So Miss Mel trace her hand, or you can put your hand in hand paint and do a hand print with some hand paint, some finger paint, and let it dry very well, my loves. But Miss Mel did something a little different. We thought out of the box a little bit. I traced my hand, and you can color your hand print however you'd like. Miss Mel colored hers a rainbow color. What? All my, some of my favorite colors that I had for that day. So you know what? We did a hand, Miss Mel's handprint. You do your handprint. You can trace it, remember, or you can put it in paint and do your handprint. And this is a message to all your teachers. When you meet with them, you get to show them the art you created. High five to a great year. What? And do this as a big high five. What? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Coming at you, teacher. What? This is amazing. This is your high five and a thank you to your teacher the next time you meet with them and say, teacher, we appreciate you and give a high five to them. Something you created, my loves, to show them how much you're thankful and, and how much gratitude you have for all that they do and what you do together to make our world a better world. So my loves, you check out that link. It shows you how to do it, but Miss Mel already gave the instructions on how to do it too. And if you think of something, another cool way to do this, I wanna hear about it because you know what? We gotta share our ideas with each other always because you all inspire me so much each and every day, my loves. Each day we get together, each day we talk virtually, or you leave a note or a comment. 
you know, it inspires me so much. You inspire me every day, my love. So keep on inspiring. Keep on being amazing, you. And we want to thank all our teachers again. Thank you, teachers. Have a great day, my loves. And we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to read another wonderful storybook because you are my teacher. It's such a cool storybook. And we're going to read it tomorrow. And this mail has some other treats in store for you tomorrow, too. My loves at 1030. So we'll see you tomorrow, my loves. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Mwah! <laughs>